Welcome to the county ground where Swindon are trying to make it eight home wins on the trot, form that's kept them near the top of the first division, but they go into today's clash without strikers Steve White and Dave Mitchell, both of whom are suspended. But they have an able deputy in Craig Maskell, still the club's top scorer. Sean Close will partner him up front and starts a full game for only the fifth time with the club. Visitors Luton come here with just one defeat in their last six games and have a mixture of youth and experience in their side. Trevor Peake at the back and Kerry Dixon up front have certainly both seen younger days. And a familiar face returns to the county ground, Chris Kamara, who spent seven years here in two spells. Your referee from the Midlands is Paul Vaines. And Swindon get the game underway, playing from right to left in their usual red strip. Johnson, Fries, Gray is why didn't really trouble Fraser Digby there. It was a good leap by Colin Calderwood, but it just fell to Gray. Calderwood. out by Johnson. Things were offside there. The referee turned round, but the flag didn't go up. Summerby will take the throw. Back to Summerby. It was a good dummy by Sean Close, and Maskell's in space. Finds the side netting. I think if it had been earlier in the season, Craig Maskell a bit fitter, more first-team practice, he would have had a better chance. Priest. It's a good cross. Digby's in trouble. Kamara and Dixon fighting each other for the ball. And Hoddle can bring it away. Lucky to escape there, Fraser Digby. Terrible mistake, but uh, a big mistake too from Dixon and Kamara. Telfer. There's Dixon. Hughes is cross. Still trouble. Hughes again. The deep cross this time. Gray. Dixon with the overhead. Never really going to trouble Fraser Digby there. It was a good head back from Phil Gray. Just a bit too far away from Kerry Dixon to get the right angle. Marwood will take the throw. Ling, you don't often see Martin Ling in those sorts of positions. He's not the tallest of men. Ling. It's cut out by Johnson. Hughes. Jump again by Maskell. Ling. It's Bowden making the overlap. Ling again. But Dreyer will clear that. Pressured by Ling. Now, what can Swindon do? Been very disappointing so far. Maskell. They'll try the right-hand side. Calderwood as Marwood. 
and Calderwood again. Hoddle. This time it falls to Marwood. The Johnson will clear. Little penetration by either of these two sides at the moment. A stalemate. Marwood's cross. Ling's header. Well, that's the second header Martin Ling's got in today, and he's not been too far away with either of them. A good tackle from Ling. What a battling midfielder he is. He's got close inside him. He's got Bowden making space down the left. It'll fall to Maskell. Brings it on his favoured left foot. It's no trouble for Chamberlain. Martin Ling made good room and a good ball. And you could see what Maskell was trying to do. But it was never going to go past Chamberlain. Bottle. Bowden. Hazard. Claren will be disappointed with that. Bowden. Maskell. Bowden makes the run. Ling. Good jump from Johnson, not from Bowden. Head tennis at the moment. Hazard. And Kamara gets the challenge in here. And it's two against three. And now Oakes is spare on the left-hand side. Here's Priest. Finds Oakes. Oh, and his first touch let him down there. He was in a lot of room, but his first touch certainly let him down. Good interception from Taylor. Good turn from close. Maskell goes down the left. Good save from Chamberlain. It was a good dummy and turn by close. And Maskell on his favoured left foot. Hazard. Calderwood. Summerby. Ling. Back to Summerby. Heyman with the nod. Bowden. It's there! And would you believe it? Paul Bowden, the Welsh international, scores again. You can't stop this man from scoring. That's his ninth in the last 17 games. And didn't he take it well? Hoddle with the clearance. And Hazard will bring it away. He's got Heyman to his left. Maskell's in space. Disappointing. Should have been two. Well, that man, Paul Bowden, yet again. But, Mark, it was a bit of a battle for Swindon, wasn't it? Yeah, it was difficult. I mean, Luton need the points, don't they? So they're go always going to make life difficult for the home side. But... Swindon can only win, you know, uh, without Mitchell, without White, who obviously do miss a um, good partnership. And they've got to put two new players in, as it were. It's always going to be difficult for them. Well, one of the players they brought in was Craig Maskell. It looked a bit ring rusty, perhaps. I think he's entitled to be honest. He's been out for that long. Um, that, you know, you can only get back in the team. It's only games that will get you fit. All right, your actual fitness is fine, but Max fitness... I mean, he does well here. He goes around the goalkeeper. But also the Luton defender must get some credit because he forced him ever so wide and eventually can't hit the target. Here again, it's a great little move, this, isn't it? Great control by close, let the ball run. And Masters probably hit it too well, right at the goalkeeper, and he, he makes quite a comfortable save, actually. 
But if uh, the main goal scorers aren't going to score them, they know they can always rely on Paul Bowden yet again. Well, yeah, he's phenomenal, his goal scoring, isn't it? And from uh, this sweeper system as well. And, and really, this is a great illustration of, of the way that Swindon play and the way they get people forward because they've got Summerby careering down the right hand side. And all the time, Bowden's got to make a decision does he get forward or not? And he can because he's in this system. And somebody does well eventually, he gets a cross in, flicked on by the substitute, and there's our man Bowden. Crash. <laughs> In the old onion bag, as they say. <laughs> Might get a transfer as a striker, really. Well, the way he's going, he could... Uh, I mean, that two million debt, whatever, he's could be wiped out, couldn't he? <laughs> but it is vital to keep winning the goals, even if you're not playing well, isn't it? Well, I think it's also the secret of a good side as well, and uh, they are organised, and they know exactly the way they're going to play. They get the full-backs forward, and all right, they don't play very well, but they win, and it's, it's a very, very good side. Great. White and David Mitchell, both under suspension, as their promotion-seeking run continued. Swindon went into today's Easter clash with seven consecutive home wins under their belt, but in a very disappointing match, they struggled to make it eight. Phil Gray's loosener, the visitors' best chance of the half. And Swindon suffered without their two suspended strikers. Birthday boy Craig Maskell back in the side, lacking first-team practice, and perhaps would have done better earlier in the season. Swindon only put their neat passing play together on a handful of occasions, too often the last ball going astray. Maskell again making space, but no one to finish off the move. And if the communication between the experienced Dixon and former Swindon man Chris Kamara had been better, then Luton could have been ahead after Digby's error. But it was left to Paul Bowden to seal the match in the second half, picking up a deft header off Summerby's cross and making no mistake with the volley. Promotion still in sight.